The Met Gala is supposed to be fashion's biggest night with celebrities and designers displaying their creativity and style on the red carpet. This year, however, it was a disaster. If you are unfamiliar with the Met Gala, it's an annual event on the first Monday of May that marks the start of the Costume Institute's annual fashion exhibition. The 2023 Met Gala was held this year at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts in New York City. Anna Winter is the mastermind behind the Met Gala and this year was probably the most difficult for her. Many people suggested that Anna be replaced as Met Gala host by someone else. People were judging her for her theme and the carpet, which took effort and time to create but still failed to impress some. It was a disaster for the environment, the animals and those who witnessed it. The dresses this year were not very exciting. Let us begin with the environment. This year's gala was themed in honour of Karl, a tribute to the late Karl Lagerfeld, known for his extravagant designs. Many people are unaware that Lagerfeld was a notorious polluter, using tonnes of fur, leather, feathers and other animal-derived materials in his design. Karl Lagerfeld was the creative director of many high-end fashion houses, notably Chanel. Even before the Met Gala began, controversy surrounding this year's theme. Many people were upset that Karl was being honoured, with him being a very controversial person who has said some things that people find offensive. People are dissatisfied with this year's Met Gala theme. Carl was respected for his work but had a big mouth and a habit of offending people wherever he went. He was critical of Germany's acceptance of refugees from Muslim majority countries and in 2017, during an appearance on a French talk show, the German designer referred to Muslims as the problem and were the enemies of Jews. His opinions and statements were racist, Islamophobic, misogynistic and homophobic. He once stated that he despised the term sustainability and was unconcerned about the environment. His legacy, however, lives on in the Met Gala, where many celebrities wore environmentally harmful outfits that contributed to climate change. Dua Lipa, for example, wore a dress made out of 30,000 Swarovski crystals which are non-biodegradable and require significant energy and water. Dua Lipa accessorized the gown with a 200 carat Tiffany & Co necklace and silver heels. However, some people felt that the gown was too bridal and boring and that the violin detail was awkward and out of place. Roger Federer wore a suit lined with sketches by Lagerfeld that were printed on deforestation related paper. Penelope Cruz wore a Chanel wedding gown covered in feathers, most likely plucked from live birds. Penelope Cruz accessorized the gown with a Chanel bag, high jewelry and shoes. Some people, however, thought the gown was too dated and matrony and did not fit the theme of honoring Lagerfeld. Some also chastised her for wearing a hooded gown, which they thought was inappropriate and disrespectful to Muslim women who wear hijabs. Talking about disastrous dresses, Kim Kardashian suffered a fashion nightmare after attending the Met Gala as her Scarparelli pearl dress fell apart with her pearls trailing on the ground. As she returned to her hotel in New York, the stunning gown began to unravel from the string that held it together. Kim was seen holding her dress up with one hand as she dashed into the pricey hotel, presumably to keep herself from falling and causing further damage. She was photographed standing on what appeared to be a trail of pearls that glistened against Manhattan's bustling streets, looking down in disbelief. Many people on Twitter were making fun of the men who attended the Met Gala. Many people thought many of the men's outfits were really bland because it seemed like a lot of them just appeared in tuxedos and it just looked like they weren't putting in as much effort as the women. Last year, Emma Chamberlain was a big part of the Met Gala and while many people praised her for her outfits, some said things like, who told the girl the gala theme was Daphne Blake from Scooby-Doo? However, the majority of the responses were positive. Olivia Wilde and Margaret Zhang, the editor of Vogue China, both wore the same Gabriella Hurst gown inspired by a Karl Lagerfeld design. The front of the dress had a gold violin shaped embellishment that some compared to a menstrual pad. On social media, the fashion faux pas caused embarrassment, mockery and questions about how it could have happened. Anne Hathaway wore a Versace gown with a black strapless bodice, a feathered skirt and a gold belt. It was inspired by a dress designed by Lagerfeld for Chanel in 1983 and worn on the runway by Inez de la Fressange. 
Many people noticed that it resembled Zendaya's dress from the 2019 Met Gala, a black strapless dress with a feathered skirt and a gold belt by Versace. Zendaya wore a Cinderella-inspired gown with a light-up feature that made it glow in the dark. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky arrived at the gala after most of the guests had left, making them the last to walk the red carpet. Valentino outfits that were oversized and puffy covered their entire bodies. Rihanna wore a black coat dress with a matching hat and sunglasses, while ASAP Rocky wore a multicolored quilt wrapped around him like a cape. People compared the couple's appearance to sleeping bags, quilts and duvets, and some joked that they were late because they overslept or couldn't find their clothes. Kendall Jenner wore a Marc Jacobs sheer dress that exposed her knickers and body. The gown was inspired by a look Karl Lagerfeld designed for Naomi Campbell in 1994, but some thought it was too revealing and inappropriate for the theme. The model also wore a Wolford bodysuit underneath her gown, which some criticised as cheating and breaking the gala's rules. Speaking of animals, consider how the Met Gala was also a disaster for them. Many celebrities wore fur, leather, feathers and other animal products and some even dressed up as animals. Doja Cat showed up wearing full cat prosthetics and a fur covered dress. Doja Cat's cat prosthetics referred to her stage name and the viral song Moo, which she performed at the gala. She said she wanted to honour Lagerfeld's beloved cat, Chopay, who could not attend the gala. But what she did was mock and disrespect all the cats killed each year for their fur. She wasn't the only one who dressed up as an animal. Michaela Cole wore a leopard print jumpsuit with ears and whiskers as a headpiece. She claimed she wanted to channel Lagerfeld's wild side, but she really did appropriate and trivialize leopard culture and identify, which are endangered and threatened due to poaching and habitat loss. Finally, let us discuss how the Met Gala was a disaster for those who witnessed it. People who spent thousands of dollars on a ticket hoping to see some inspiring and innovative fashion. Those who tuned into the live stream or followed the updates on social media were expecting to see some stunning and memorable looks. People who value fashion as an art form, a means of expression and a source of joy. What did they instead get? A parade of dull, bland and basic outfits devoid of originality and creativity. A display of vanity, excess and waste that ignored today's pressing issues. Fashion as a culture and as a movement is mocked. During this time, the Met Gala menu has leaked online. A Twitter user shared a photo of what was served to the fashion industry's biggest night out. There was plenty of wine and a diet soft drink from chilled spring tea soup with baby vegetables and a lemon creme fraiche to Aura King salmon with a vegetable broth. However, Twitterati thought it was too bland and short. Celebrities are starving themselves to death and paying through the nose for their privilege, one said. What is this crime against food, asked another. The food on the Met Gala menu sounds disgusting. The Met Gala was a disaster and we deserve better. We deserve fashion that is ethical, sustainable and compassionate. Fashion that respects the environment, the animals and the people. Fashion that challenges us, surprises us and inspires us. That's why I'm here today to tell you about a different kind of fashion event, an event that celebrates fashion as a force for good, an event that showcases fashion that is innovative, diverse and inclusive, an event that honours fashion icons who are stylish and socially conscious. It's called The Better Fashion Show and you are invited.